Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly video update for Wednesday, April the 7th. And man, what a non eventful day today. We had a bunch of chop all day long. I'm showing the SPX here. And let me compress that down a little bit and show you kind of what was going on. So, all day long, um, I mean, we're just chopping, chopping, chopping. If you turn this sideways, it would look like this, you know, Z, 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 Z. <laughs> That's what it felt like all day. There was just nothing going on. Um, we did have a Fed meeting, and uh, the Fed meeting was right there. Uh, it was not a Fed meeting. It was FOMC minutes. I was corrected in the room today. Uh, Federal Open Market Committee uh, minutes from the Fed meeting, which didn't show anything. We didn't expect anything. We didn't expect any uh, market moving that to be a market moving event at all. Um, in fact, we kind of sold off a little bit after that, but um, not a big deal either way. Basically, the Fed in the minutes said that they are, you know, committed to um, keep rates low. Uh, no, they don't see any problem with inflation, all that kind of stuff. Not going to normalize rates until, you know, 20. 23 or so at the earliest so you know expect more of the same the feds got your back that kind of thing so um you know it's, it's more of the same dovish talk and we have had um you know the infrastructure uh proposed infrastructure plan and all that um you know really really and and on top of the coronavirus stimulus you know so we've got two to Two to four to six bill, trillion dollars coming into the market potentially, you know, over the next couple of years. So, um, you know, it's good for the market. Now, the big question is: is break baked in through the market or not at this point? And you know, of course, we don't know. But let me show you what we're looking at here, chart-wise. You see this red line? That is a voodoo fire line. And let me show you a more um, interesting. Uh, chart here or time frame here um, this we this is the big gap up this is Monday morning vertical gap up here straight up into the fire line and then we stopped we didn't get past it we didn't get past it here on Tuesday we did kind of breach above it slightly and then came back down and we're just chopping around t touched it today twice two three times today did not get past it lots of lots of lots of lots of chop right here trying to the market is trying to digest all of this move because we had a uh, what 160 points basically straight up um so we are you know again just consolidating right here and there is you know we've got the bears on this side and the bulls on this side who's going to win so basically what happens is you know we'll we'll break out of this range and we'll either keep going up or this will be an exhaustion point and we'll come down. So I'm not really sure which way it's going to go, but let's do a little further digging here and go out on a 20 day chart. And you can see, you know, from 38.50, you know, we're up 230 points or so, you know, off that low. Um, this has been a pretty you know pretty heavy lift to get off of that skyline right there and just I mean it's vertical straight up with basically no pause so let's go even further out on a one-year chart and take a look at this and you can see we're right up against the fire line here which typically will be a place to pause pull back you know collect our thoughts on the market and that kind of thing um, that's that's actually what I'm expecting is that we sooner or later we um you know and i'm talking about the next several days maybe even tomorrow uh that we pull back uh and start coming back down into the mean here uh which the mean is essentially if you look at this as a channel you know it's right down the center here so we'll come back down into here and then you know likely keep going we do have earnings coming up um they actually earnings season will kick off officially next week and but then we have a couple more weeks in to get into the Amazon Google's and um, Tesla's and Apple and all that kind of stuff so you know we could go back and forth but again typically uh, when you get this much this fast 
you know, off a, off a move like that, the market will take a break. Um, it's a tough call here. We could keep going. There's, you know, there's still, if you look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ may ha have a little bit more room to go to run on the upside. Um, but I just having traded for, you know, having seen this movie before and having traded for 33 years now, I, you know, normally when we get extended and we're three ATR away from the mean right now, um, you know, you pause, pull back, catch your breath before the next run higher and the next run higher should be into earnings. So it would make sense that maybe over the next several days or week or so uh, that we pull back. Now, if we pull back, I'm not looking for, for that much, honestly. Um, we have Skyline there at 40, this is SPX, uh, 40, 20, 39, 80, all the way down here to our snow line at 39, 18. I don't think we get that far back, uh, but we could come back down in here to this easily down into the 4,000 range. Um, and if, you know, if it turns and, or we get some news, um, yeah, you know, we could see more downside, I, but I, again, without, you know, without specific news, bad news. Uh, economic news. Uh, I think the dip will be bought, you know, for this further run higher. Uh, so, and that's in the short term. Now, later in the year, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I might be starting to get more if, if this, we just keep going and we're say at 4,300, 4,400 something, you know, then I'm going to get a lot more, um, maybe in the black swan kind of camp. Uh, but we're not, you know, we're not close to that yet. Um, any pullback would be reasonable here. And, um, and if we go higher, you know, let's, let's take the other side. If we do go higher, I'm not expecting much more out of the upside, honestly. And I'll show you why. If I can get my, uh, chart up here, I'll show you, um, right here, here's the ES on a daily I mean, we've got a ceiling above us there, 4,100, 4,104. This is ES. Uh, so right above us, you know, so let's say we do keep going. Well, there's probably not a lot of gas left in the tank on the upside. So I'm not tell, telling you to get bearish and run out there and short this market. I'm just saying if uh, I'd be very, very careful getting long here at this point because we're, you know, we've had such a big move. So, and if you are long, of course, tighten up stops and, and be really, uh, on top of your trades and that type of thing. So, um, and again, you guys know I like to talk about the S SP 500 because it's a broad representation of the overall market. Um, I don't have any specific stocks right now to talk about. Over the next several weeks, as we get closer to earnings, we'll start looking at some specific names, perhaps. Uh, but for now, um, it is sit on your hands, wait and watch. And uh, tomorrow is Pitbull. Uh, pit below on Thursday tomorrow so we you know maybe it starts tomorrow I don't know sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't but be aware of that um, other than that that's what I've got so uh, let me wind it up here I appreciate you watching this being here and uh, join us in the trading room or rooms I'm in the bias room and in the gold room so uh, try to check that out if you are not uh, have not been in there and other than that we will see you at the next update Thanks a lot. Take care. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 